All right, so I thought I'd try to do another quick unboxing video here. Had some time on my vacation break. Picked up uh, another package at the post office. Uh, the first thing I want to show that I just purchased was actually on my Kindle. Got a new book. Let's see if we can somehow... I'll just raise it up a little. Yep. So Maniko64 was talking about it, and I'm sure I know everything on it, but uh, looks very interesting. So that was two dollars, bought a nice little Kindle book. I'm sure I'll enjoy going through that one later. But uh, the second one, I got a uh, package here from SilverGoldBowl.com, and uh, not gonna lie. Uh, I think I averaged, when you did the math and the discounts, it was around $32 an ounce, which is way more than I like to spend on silver. I think I said a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, that any anything under $20, you know, is reasonable. And, uh, you know, the market's just gone way up. But I'll do a little nibbling. Uh, the other thing, honestly, I wish I could do smaller nibbling at the time. But uh, because I'm in Massachusetts, I have to pay at least $1,000 worth to avoid the sales tax. <coughs> oh, yeah, looks good. Let's see what we got here. That. There's that. And, huh, this is interesting. Okay, they did half a tube, I guess. Put that there. Huh, it looks like a US Mint tube, but I don't think I bought too many American Eagles. Got actually one other gold coin in the mail. Hopefully that'll get here before too long. But, uh, alright, let's just go through and see what we got. So yeah, I mean, if you're a new stacker, to be honest, I think it's a little late to be getting in the game. And you know, these prices, you know, Spot, in fact, Spot was up a lot this morning. Let me just check exactly where it is, because I think we had that big correction and uh, earlier today it was back up over 27. Let me check it here. Yeah. Uh, 27.34. Gold's up 41 bucks. Silver's up 90 cents. So, pretty good. Silver's up 3.4%. Oh, you know what? I guess I did get a number of eagles, but. Slice these open. Well, I forgot. Silver Gold Bowl puts a lot of tape on their flips for some reason. Some dumbass reason. Oop. Well, these are 2020s. So I got a couple of those to add to the 2020 treasure pile. I don't think it's going to be like a, um, a low mintage year. Although, you know, relatively speaking, it's not the, it's not going to be anywhere near the highest mintage, that's for sure. But this is just such a terrible and iconic year. I think these will be sought after. I mean, everything about it. It's presidential election year. And uh, 2020, it's kind of a, an interesting looking number. So there's some nice 2020s. Makes me wonder what's in that too, because uh, I just didn't think about that many of those. All right, so we got some other coins coming up. Let's see. 
I got four of these and I was uh, interested to see what they look like. Now this is a coin that kind of caught me by surprise and uh, yeah look at that looks great 2018 it's got kind of a frosted finish with a dragon I can't remember whose YouTube channel I saw these on it wasn't Silver Heist I now having brain fart here. You know what's really curious is that they did a frosted finish on one side, kind of like those Privy Mark maples, and then randomly on the other side, they stuck with that radio pattern. I don't understand that at all. I mean, they should have just done a frosted finish on both sides. That's totally bizarre. But I think this is really cool. Now the other thing, they said this was a uh, high relief. I'll have to look at it more closely. Because I don't know if it's high relief. I think that's just some cardboard under the flip. But yeah, I got four of those. And these were pricey, I think. Uh, silver Gold Bull had a little discount. A lot of their coins, they'll run a little discount. And it, it just tells you, you know, save $1 on each coin at checkout. You know, they had these marked up incredibly high for what they are, but I think they were marked off like $4. So on average, I think they came out to around $34. So the other thing, however many coins I got here, which isn't a lot because spot price is so dang high. I got a nice monster. Um, I did the math and uh, you know, factoring the lower premium coins and the discounts I got, I think it came out to around $32 an ounce. If you just divide the uh, total dollar cost by number of ounces. Guess I'll have to use the knife again. This is nothing special. They're pretty cool though, it's a new A owl. Got one of those. Pretty nice coin. And it goes back to that theme. Anything dated 2020. It's pretty cool. These are uh, stackers. Because of that reading they have, they kind of lock together if you stack a tower of these. Or a tube. But what's funny, I think if you had like a big pile of coins like you see over there and if you threw in like those readed edge Athena owls probably scratch up all the other coins kinda of funny not that I'll do that but uh... oh wow so we've gone through that first one these must be all eagles I think I got how many is in there? I'll have to look at the receipt um... got the receipt over here behind me uh, oh, okay. Alright, so I had four 2020 Eagles, and I guess I did increase the allocation to 10, so I guess that's half a tube of uh, random. We should look at those dates just to see what they are. It'd be funny if those were like 2020s. Uh, but before we check those dates, I'll try to quickly <coughs> cut into this other bag of coins and again I, I think they do it a little overkill with all the uh, tape they put on these coins maybe that's just me alright oh we got another one of those there are actually some interesting coins in here it's a pretty interesting lot um, a lot of these had discounts, like, boy, I mean, you can't even see these. Hmm. Alright, so one of these, you can see, is a Disney 90th anniversary. The thing was, they were marked at around $35 an ounce, but with the discount, yeah, they did all, they all averaged out to around $32 an ounce, some were more, obviously. Here's one I didn't have yet. Let's see. 
It's a Star Wars new way. I've got a ton of these other ones, the the Vader coins, but it's a slightly different design. What year is this? 2019, I think. Yeah, it's 2019. I think 2018 was also Darth Vader, and I got a ton of those other ones, just a slightly different design. Now these are probably all maples, I'm guessing. So I think it's like four or five 2020 maples. All right, this is one I didn't have in the stack yet. Let's see here. is man they put some weird stickers on there hmm. that's ridiculous the stickers actually on the coin bizarre I've never seen anything like that that's actually really stupid like that could cause damage to a nice coin I don't know why they're putting stickers on the coin. Maybe that's the white line of Mortimer. It's pretty good. Didn't have that one. I kind of fell behind on the uh, Queen's Beast. These were pricey. I think they averaged out to like $36 an ounce. Obviously I'm buying those late in the game here. All right, what else do we get? Now this one, I'm absolutely kicking myself for these. I remember there was some website, it was like Modern Coin Mart or something, that gave you guys like a $10 off, or it was like a 10 or $15 off coupon code for certain coins, and this was one of them. So all you guys got this coin for around like 12 bucks. It was under spot at the time. And I love the design. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love the whole Apollo and the moon la moonier, <laughs> lunar moon landings, all that. But I paid through the nose. It was around 32 to $35. I don't think it says on the receipt. Nah, they don't put the dollar price on the receipt. But gorgeous coin. Perth Mint. I love the mat. I love the uh, that Im iconic image, the footprint. I kind of want to get the U.S. Mint uh, silver dollars they did. They also did a five ounce coin, which they're probably stupid enough to put a one dollar figure on the five ounce instead of five dollars, but they're idiots. It's the US men for you. All right, and I think this was the last one. It was a random date Mexican Libertad, and it looks like they put this one in a coin capsule. Uh, this one's interesting. It's older, pretty nice looking. It's got a little toning around the edge. 2013. Looks good though. Gotta love those Libertads, right? Beautiful. Another Libertad for the stack. Look at that top eagle. What does that look like? I wonder what that little thing is underneath. Interesting. Alright, let's crack open this tube and just see what kind of years we get. Not that it really matters. They're all common years except 1996. I'm guessing they're fairly new. Probably 2018s or 2019s. I would actually be pleased if they were old ones like 1986 to 89 or something. But, uh, let's cut, they put four pieces of tape on this. I'll try not to cut my finger. The trusty Swiss Army knife helping here. Try to pry the lid off in a safe manner. Come on. Oh, almost there. Well, 
Wow. All right. I think I might put a glove on for this part. Put on one of these junky gloves I got. All right, looks like there's some foam. Oops, Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Looks like there's some foam peanuts here. Try to get rid of those. Nice mess. Uh-oh. Ooh, nice 2012. Okay. And all right, let's go through these. Oh, they look shiny, shiny. Yeah, they're probably all 2012s. They look great. They look like they were just cracked out of a tube. Gotta love it. A little bit of scratching on that one is probably for me. Another 2012. 2012. 2012. No surprise at this point. 2012. 2012. 12, we're at 17 minute video, 2012, alright, what coin did you guys like best? I'll tell you, these ones are interesting, these dragon ones, and I'm really happy I finally got one of these, it wasn't even a low mintage I don't think, but always happy to have these bad boys, beautiful, eh, queen's beast, whatever, but, uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully, let me check the price again, because it's been charging up today. We're already at 12.30. Yeah, it's still, it's up 95 cents, according to this. Yeah, nice, nice. Gold's making a move back towards 2,000. Dow Jones, I think, is down 61 points, but the NASDAQ is up 81 points. Crazy, crazy. But, uh... Yeah, if we keep tightening the ratio, I'm going to start trying to trade some of this silver for gold in the near future. Check the LCS and uh, see what we can do. All right, have a good one.